Hello everyone, welcome to IPO Market Watch, the channel that covers initial public offerings, every single one of them, and occasionally I'll talk about other things, other uh, things that have nothing to do with IPOs. If you want to also follow me, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Patreon. Links are in the description below. So, is this stock a buy? We're going to talk about Compan Compania Siderurgica Nacional. All right, if I pronounce it right, SID is the ticket symbol. We'll just call it that SID. Eight dollars and thirty-five cents. This is the one-year chart that you are looking at. So the company operates as an integrated steel producer in Brazil and Latin America. The company operates in five segments: steel, mining, logistics, energy, and cement. Also, it offers flat steel products such as high, medium, low carbon micro alloy, and so on, and uh, uh, hot rolled products including heavy and light gauge uh, hot coils, sheets, and so on. Uh, the company primarily explores for iron ore reserves in uh, in uh, Brazil, and uh, it also has a quite a bit of a dominant share in the cement industry. In addition, it operates railways, port facilities, produces and sells cement to construction materials, stores, home centers, concrete producers, construction companies, and so on. The company also exports its products. It has uh, in, in 1941 it, since it, it has been exporting its products and has been around since 1941. Shortly after approving the initial public offering of its cement business, CSN has announced the acquisition of uh, incremental cement capacity through Elizabeth Cementos and Elizabeth Mine Racao. So they did an acquisition there. The acquisitions add clear strategic benefits and post synergies and come at very attractive price. So also with the balance sheet repair underway and the capital return uh, story unfolding shares appear undervalued at current levels so at current levels it, it seems it's at 835 right now right this is the one year chart used to be at two hours last year some of the latest news about the company is the acquisition the cement business acquisition it was a 218 million dollar deal so brazil steelmaker uh company siderurgica national uh Cement uh, unit agrees to acquire Elizabeth Cementos and Elizabeth Mineraco for 1.08 billion raise or 218 million dollars. The deal will increase their cement capacity by 1.3 million metric tons per year. Also recently, the company hosted its annual Investor Day event outlining considerably bullish outlook across its businesses. So they're very bullish. Uh, also, the stock by Wall Street is seen as bullish. They have a price target of $11. It's now at $8.35. So the key highlights were the updated guidance numbers for the fiscal 2021 on iron ore sales and steel sales. Also management's bullish take as well is a sign that points to iron ore prices remaining uh, supportive throughout the fiscal 2021. Wall Street analysts have consensus price target of the stock at $10.65, others at $11. So it means that the shares uh, value could jump 17 18 maybe 20 percent higher the projected low price target is 7.58 while the highest is at 13 dollars and 19 cents this is from refinitiv right um you can find this information here if you have fidelity app so equity summer score bullish 8.8 .8. the earnings per share and it beat the, the latest by uh, the the latest earnings it, it beat by quite a bit did very well it also has a dividend of 12 cents the growth since 2018 has actually done quite well. Fundamental analysis, the valuation, the stock is undervalued. Quality is high for the stock. Growth stability, very high for the stock. It's very stable. Financial health, quite good. And uh, also, if we look at Ford Equity Research, they have a rating of number one. They're very positive on the earning strength. They're very positive on the relative valuation. On the price movement, they're very positive. So they see a one year, the one year price is up 360%, very positive, and so on. So they have a do buy, they do have a strong uh, buy rating. If we look at the relative valuation, it's very positive. It says here that the operating earnings yield of 23.1% ranks above 99% of the other companies in the Ford universe of stocks, indicating that it is undervalued. Ford measures the relative valuation for each company against all other companies in their research universe, operating earnings yield and earnings to price ratio based on at least three quarters of operating earnings and so on. So that's it guys. I wanted to bring this stock to your attention. I can't tell you 
that you should buy this or not I won't say that that's up to you guys all right so uh, it's eight dollars thirty five cents please let me know what you guys think what is your opinion on this stock thank you very much for watching and I wish you guys all the best take care